Alright, here we go. Wood Elves, my Glade Lord on a green dragon. Beautiful. Versus is each. The blues and pinks all over the place. It's gonna be beautiful. Just gonna go over some things right now with the Glade. Don't really use the Glade Lord often. And, uh, especially on a dragon, but I figured, you know what, it's Zeech. And with the, how the meta works now, people love to bring in some high-tier units. And when they bring in those high-tier infantry units, and I think a Dragon Breath would be real nice. And this isn't going to be, well, it's going to be a Wood Elf build, but it's going to be very heavily into melee, seeing as how I'm going up against Zeech. And Zeech has a big problem with anti-infantry. Well, not necessarily. I think my opponent's build isn't that bad, but there's just too many missiles for my taste. But with the blues and a bunch of, uh, with how low armor my army could be, I could see the blues in mass be useful. We're gonna posture up, get into position, and already my opponent's getting a little too, a little too zealous. Overzealous. That dragon's gonna eat that little pink bastard on a disc. Eat him. Eat him. Look at all those blues watching. <laughs> and already it's almost at half. Wow. Yeah, those stats are not good for fighting. 35-35. <laughs> Ooh, bringing in a great eagle just to deal with him and disrupt his back line. What do we got? Screamers. Yeah, those are a problem. Not anymore. On the side, we got War Dancers. We got Eternal Guard going up front. We got some Swift Shiver, uh, Swift Shiver Shards on the side. Eventually going to take that top objective and hit him on the flank. That Eagle's providing plenty of disruption. It's not getting value, I don't think. I mean, it's not doing a ton of damage, but it is hurting. And that Flamer just missed all his shot. Wow. What do we got here? Chaos Warriors getting... Oof! That was a nasty breath. Yeah, those things are going to be gone soon. Ooh! Chaos Warriors first the Eternal Guard. I'm pretty sure the Chaos Warriors are going to win that, but it's going to be a while. And already, we're just causing nothing but disruption. I'm just <laughs> trying to get his pink little bastard. And I'm doing a good job of that. Jeez. Yeah, the Flamer is actually doing more damage to his own units than mine, but here we go. That is an Infernal Gateway. That is pure nightmare fuel right now. Got a good chunk of units, too, but at the cost of his lord. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, look at all of this. My opponent's Flamer doing more damage to his units. Yeesh. And I think... Yep. I'm gonna chase off his lord with my dragon and my eagle. He's wasting all his ammunition just trying to stop me. And it's not gonna work. So yeah, count that lord is done. His herald of Zeech is gone. And he keeps trying to drag it down, but I have so much weight. And now it's gonna crumble. Yep. Goodbye, herald. But my opponent still has plenty of units. Compared to mine. And it took a lot of HP out of my Lord and Eagle just to deal with that. Yeah, my Eternal Guard are basically gone. I have no front line. My Glades are sitting there defenseless versus all these missiles. But I got Dryads, which is probably the worst thing I could have brought. But here come the reinforcements. Swift Shivers coming in. With their shotgun bolts. Magic damage. I wouldn't say high, well, no, they're not really high AP. I don't think they really have a high AP. But they have high DPS, because look at that. Already the spawns are taking a good chunk. Yeah, I remember the shields too, but there are two of them. And also, I gotta remember to get the hell up that hill, because those spawns are catching up. <laughs> right, just using that eagle. Don't care if it dies or not at this point. I just need these units to survive, because if they go... Wow, they're already at half. Wow, holy shit. Yeah, those swoosh shivers don't fuck around. They destroyed those spawns. And they're still destroying them. Jeez, I'm actually very impressed with them. I never use the swoosh shivers, and I never have a good reason to, but... I mean, they're spawns. Spawns are pretty ass. Look at those beautiful redheads ready to get into that front line. I like Bladesingers for their 
forty percent or forty yeah forty physical uh, missile resist and twenty percent physical resist. So they are gonna take those fire arrows quite on the chin. But they're magic damage, so the physical won't really add up. The missile though, beautiful. And those spawns are gone. Spawns are gone. Trying to climb up that hill, taking nothing but damage. We have all the pinks and blues on the run. That eagle, although probably sucking ass right now, is doing more work than it looks like. It is just keeping that chrome unit from shooting. And that's all I needed to do right now. As those war singers come up. Those screamers not doing anything perfect. You're shooting into Chaos Warriors. Don't have any shields. Beautiful. But the only problem is, uh, yeah. There's no AP on those, uh, on those arrows, so it is what it is. Two screamers trying to finish off my lord. I'm not paying attention, and they're probably going to get it. But good news, none of his units are shooting. I control damn near all the objectives. I'm going to have the center soon, because I'm going to... Because this is the thing with this map. You just push them into their spawn, and you plug it up, and they can't do anything about it. They can try going on the other side, but... Then they have to send slow infantry on the other side and hope to win. If they send in cab, you can counteract it with some more cab right through the center, and you have a good... You just have beautiful map control. And that's the thing about the Galleon's Cove. Such a weird map. But the biggest problem... Oh, I've seen this before. <laughs> Blade Singers running into... Pinks. That flamer though is going to be a problem, so I got to send in these war dancers and dryads to finish them off. Oh no, it's just nothing but yeah, war dancers. So they're all of them, these units are intermingled. It's so hard to tell what's what. Yeah, it looks like my lord's dead because I can see that leadership debuff all around. Yup, and here come the swift shivers, just trying to finish everything off. Ooh, knights, do knights. That's going to be a problem. Not that bad of a problem because uh, with so much map control now and so many units in comparison, yeah, I got triple the amount of my opponent's units. It's probably going to be GG soon. Doom Knights could do some damage, but in my experience, they don't do enough. <laughs> Ever. So, yep, GG's opponent, GG's. What do we got? Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Decent value. I think my lord almost paid for himself. If not... No, no, he was 400 off. Jeez. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. Like, sub, follow me on Twitter. Do some help. Help me grow. Hit that 500. We're at 4. We're gonna get there, fellas. Yeah. And if you follow me on Twitter, you get notifications. Get to see future clips. And those notifications let you know about the stream and see those clips. Alright, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace. Bye for now.